space. Oh, I'm so looking forward to not having to deal with this anymore when we have fiber internet. We'll figure it out. Yeah. There'll be a whole new set of problems that we can't anticipate. <laughs> Randy Vaughn coming in first. That's my husband. Um, hey, Sabea, how's it going? Not just, not just, that's Randy Vaughn. <laughs> for if, anyway. <laughs> um, we are just goofing off in the craft room, really. Drinking some tea and fixing to, I think the thing, the thing that I wanted to do today was to practice sculpting with monster clay for the very first time, but it hasn't arrived at the house yet. First world problems majorly. Um, but so to tide me over until the monster clay gets here, we were given this really cool pen base. Like it has a pen that goes with it, but that's still upstairs, I think. Um, and I want to try sculpting it. So, I mean, I figure, I mean, that's good practice, right? Like, trying to, I don't know, like, I love this thing so much. This is like the coolest dragon head. And so I was just going to try sculpting it and maybe putting a crystal in its head and using that as my ring stand for when I'm sculpting. Um, so I think that's what we're going to be working on today, but we'll see. Who knows? I, um... Woo. Hey 365, hey Crescent Fox, hey Phyllis, hey Sherry, hey Marianne, hey Deborah, hey Witch and Gnome, hey Lisa. I'm doing really well today. Um, Mary says, what kind of wire is a good non-tarnish? I 100% recommend Parawire. It's a P-A-R-A -A Parawire at Parawire.com. We also sell it on our website, though... Uh, I don't think we have very much in stock right now because we're actually just kind of clearing everything off of our website very slowly um, to make way for we're do, putting together a new website. It's still going to be backtoearthcreations.com, but hopefully it'll like make sense and be navigatable. No, navigatable? You'll be able to make your way around it a little easier. It'll have a search bar. But yeah, parawire.com, they have the absolute best um, non-tarnish, genuinely non-tarnish craft wire. I highly recommend if you're looking for a silver tone, go with their titanium, their silver plated titanium as opposed to their silver plated silver because that one I have had the experience of it yellowing over time um, with like UV exposure. So like outdoor craft shows or making like a sun catcher, it will yellow into a really beautiful champagne gold. But if that's not what you're going for, I'd recommend the titanium because I have better results with that. Hey Sandy, I hope that's helpful to you Mary. Hey Erica, hey Brenda, Halls, Crafty Spam, ooh in the UK, right on, hey Wicked Sense, hey Chris, hey Kelly, hey Mama Salty, she says, is your cat a female, my cat wants soft sipping Thor, <laughs> yeah, Ember's a lady, um, I mean she's, she's spayed, like for over a decade and a half now, but uh, no, yeah, she's, she like, she, she lady, <laughs> She's like snarly. I'm still like, I think my cat's mad at me. She bit me yesterday, <laughs> but it's because I was terrorizing her. Yeah. So it's perfectly reasonable, but I'm still like, Ember spicy. <laughs> um, Anna says, hello from Poland. Hey, Anna. Hey, Michelle. Okay. So again, in case y'all just came in, uh, we're going to be sculpting today. And, oh, you a girl dragon. <laughs> We're going to be sculpting today. And uh, hopefully the monster clay will get here. So it's very likely we might change gears a couple of times. And I'm really interested in going and checking on, we have this like solar panel that we have set up in the front yard. Um, and I kind of want to go and check on it at some point. So we'll be, we'll be changing gears quite a bit today. Maybe. We'll see. Woohoo. <laughs> So I'm going to be, I still don't have my um, pasta machine clamped down to anything because I don't really know where to clamp it in my new setup over here. So we're just going to be cranking some clay through. So prepare yourselves for some, uh, like what's the opposite of relaxing ASMR? Get ready for that. 
Yeah. Opposite. <laughs> okay, I am gonna mute it for a sec so y'all don't have to listen to the tripod noises. Is that working? Testing? Hello? Okay. And I'm gonna get that cord out of the way. Ooh, I could actually just plug my cell phone in. Okay, thank you, baby. So the stuff I'm working with today is cost clay and they're medium firm. And I really like cost clay because it's a rubberized polymer clay. So whenever it bakes, it's still quite flexible. Like here's some teeth, the example teeth. If you can see how flexible that still is, like that's really nice. like really nice like I bet if I tried to do that with some baked Sculpey it would not it would not hold up okay so I'm just getting it a little warm in my hand first Ooh, let me double check on yep live chat instead of top chat sorry guys maybe I'm not sure what blue dragon eyes you're talking about what what those blue dragon eyes will you be selling oh. on your website your web address. We um our website is back to earth creations.com and though I think she's talking about the I had posted a short or possibly something on Instagram or Facebook where uh the eyes that we painted and then backed with the glow in the dark cosplay. Um, yeah, I think that was a short. Okay, it was some sort of internet something another. Some internet shenanigans. Yeah, some some tomfoolery. So yeah, since I don't have it clamped down, I'm just holding it down for dear life. Uh, but I'm not entirely certain how I'd go about clamping it to this, uh, like, tool chest. Like, maybe I could put bolts through it, but then it won't fit back underneath the thing. True. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm like low-key hoping that I can just like pray to Santa or something real hard and eventually get one of those Lucy's clay machines <laughs> that are like big. Well, then it definitely won't fit. Yeah, but it, I'd have one of those clay machines. <laughs> so I don't know how many more like uh, DMs I gotta send to Santa. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep trying. Okay, let's see. Hey, Itzy. Ooh, Witch and Gnome says, well, we got some errands to do. Stopped in to say hello, hoping to catch more of the stream a bit later. Have fun on your errands, Witch and Gnome. Ooh, uh, Kelly says, I received my craft along box today. What is this month's theme? That's a really good question, Kelly. I meant to, uh, to have the video come out by now. I think we're actually going to be doing two videos next week. Um, just so I can get the video about this month's theme out. Um, this month is a little bit of a mismatched menagerie and a little bit of a creative challenge to just send out um, the wire and the cabs and see uh, what y'all make with it because it's kind of, a lot of it, I'm not going to lie, is us trying to be creatively um, recovering from Dragon Con <laughs> and Dragon Con like prep. Like we got kind of like I hadn't gotten glass ordered so we didn't have the the glass that we were supposed to have uh we still have not received though I don't even know if payments come out for it but we like the wire like everything everything that could have gone sideways sideways except for we did have the boxes to send the packages in that didn't go sideways this month but every other thing that could have gone sideways but they're not the right boxes but we still we had boxes <laughs> They at least showed up. Um, so th this this month's theme is a uh, mismatched mismatched menagerie. 
to kind of just see what everybody comes up with. Though we will be doing a video with like recommendations and stuff and you know showing what we're doing with the wire and everything. Hey Robin. Ooh, Hawk says my truck still is not working. Good news though. I have 12 more pairs of earrings to make to get to my 300. Oh my gosh. That's almost nothing left at all. <laughs> Anna says I love your craft room space. It's like a Disneyland for artists. Right on. I'm not going to lie. I love it as well. I'm really glad we took the time to rearrange it um, back in January of this year. Though we're starting to do a little bit of rearranging again. Because... Things are constantly changing and evolving around here, it seems, which I love, but also, man, I was really looking forward to, like, coasting a little, like, just setting it up and then, like, just, just sitting in my jar and fermenting, like, not having to change anything for it, but here we are. Um, but I think it's really important to be in love with your creative space, because whenever things get messy, and they do get messy, and when things get ugly, and they do get ugly... It's really nice to be in love with your space because that makes you want to put in the work to uh, clean it up and make it you know, wonderful again. Hey Angie! Crescent Fox says, I have recently gotten back into sculpting polymer clay and I found a great motivator with sculpting design sea creatures on each of my sculpting tools. That's so cool! That's actually, I actually really love that idea. What kind of sea creatures did you do? Because I'm already picturing like octopi tentacles and mermaid scales and I don't know, like some, some starfish. Which one's a Pokemon? Tentacles. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, too. So the medium firm stuff is kind of crumbly to start with, but you can see. Um, <clears throat> It's softening up nicely. I'm going to set that there. That way y'all can see what I'm working with. Hey, Brooke. We are sculpting today. I'm making my own version of this little dragon pen holder that was gifted to us like years and years ago. But uh, I just I want to practice sculpting and I'm really intimidated to try something small. So I figured I'd start with that because we all got to start somewhere right so I think the most important thing about all of this is I'm not just practicing sculpting I'm practicing having the patience and grace for myself to make room for me to be bad at something and, it, and to have a whole lot of fun at being bad at something because I'm a little like results motivated and so cutting myself some slack to just have fun and be bad and new at something it gets harder and harder all the time it's like I'm like no I need good results immediately and it's like what that's not how this goes <laughs> hey star hey Kim hey Stephanie hey Sarah Hey, April. Okay, I think I'm all cut up on comments. And also, feel free to ask any questions on topic or off throughout the stream today. I love talking shop and just chit-chatting, so y'all get to help kind of uh, shape the conversation today. I mean, any day that we have a live stream, but... Because otherwise, it's going to be more mindless rambling. April says, I'm in the middle of a bunch of projects updating displays. Ooh! What kind of updating displays? Hey Sherry, how are you doing today? Okay, so I'm going to add in one more piece and then I think, I guess I'll use some aluminum foil or something for the bead core. Well, I don't know if I should do that. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Just because I do want to be able to fit a pen on it. Or do I? Hey Randy. That's right. What crystal do you think I should put on it? Mm -hmm. hmm. Also, do you think it'd look silly if he just had like one big random crystal sticking out of the top of his head? Mm -hmm. hmm. Does polymer clay make decent candle holders? I don't imagine they would. Because this would be a really cool candle holder and I think I have an extra one of those little tea light um, 
Well. Um, but like, you know what's those... What's the temperature of a flame? Uh, like, hot. <laughs> I don't know, could you Google it for me? <laughs> like, just a regular candle flame. Because that's, I mean, it's different if it's like, is it the fire out of the stove? Is it a fire in a campfire? Like... Mm -hmm. yeah, the candle flame. 1,000 degrees Celsius. This is really freaking hot. Fire protection. Candle flame. The hottest part of the candle flame burns around 1,400 degrees Celsius. Holy smokes. While the average temperature is usually 1,000 degrees Celsius. Celsius? Would not recommend. What's that in chicken nuggets? No. Okay. Oh, <laughs> can you Google it? <laughs> It is 1,400 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. 1,400 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 2,552 degrees Fahrenheit. Really? That's... A whole lot of chicken nuggets. A whole lot of chicken nuggets. Um, that's very hot. Like, and this is gonna sound ridiculous, but I did not realize fire was that hot. <laughs> Fire bad. Fire bad. That, and that's kind of where I stopped it at. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, can you search one more thing for me? What? Um, can you search how hot a propane oxygen torch, like my Bethlehem Alpha torch? How hot is that flame? Because with it, be well, yeah, but like, so, but how hot is a lampwork glass torch? Like the temperature. Because does it get hotter when I add What's oxygen? the temperature of a lamp or a glass torch? Y'all, we're learning about thermo. Is this thermodynamics? Just did a quick Google and someone on Lampwalk and Center asked the same question. The answer was as a ballpark figure around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, that's hot. That's five candles. That's five candles. Actually, it's two that's and a it? half candles. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're also bad at math. <laughs> wow. Hey. Does it get hotter when I add oxygen to you, it? What? Well, does it? Like, I'm curious. Like a cat. <laughs> like a cat. Yes. No, I think just for the first time in months, I'm well rested. Yes, it gets hotter when you add oxygen to it. That's really cool. Huh. Runaway Camper says, uh, 15,000 degrees. Ask me how I know. I was once the lamp lighter and have the burns to prove it. Oh my gosh. Benjamin says you can hold a finger in a candle flame. I guess for a little while. Brooke says depends on what you're burning, doesn't it? I guess it does. Crystal Wizard said pro tip, fire hot. Fire bad. <laughs> Wicked sense so excited. I am creating a craft room for myself this weekend and can take all my crafts out of my bedroom. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. What all kinds of crafts are you fitting into your crafts room? Hey, Tara. Ah! Tara. I saw your video of your wire tree today on, I think it was on Instagram. That's beautiful work. Oh. You weren't talking to me. Well, that's fine. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to be cheap on this. Mm. Yeah, I know. Okay, and the way that I'm going to be cheap on this is I'll show you all. Mm. Being complicated. Things are complicated. Herp, derp, derp, and herp, and derp, and doodle, boop, and herp, and doodle, they eat it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now the way that I'm going to be cheap on this is I've got some of this Sculpey... Like, it's not even Sculpey Primo. It's just, like, Sculpey Sculpey. Oh, is that going to be your base? I think that's going to be the core, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Just because until more of this, uh, cost clay gets here. Is this supposed to order more cost clay? Mm, did we not? No, I was going to look at their website. You were fixing to order it, and I was like, let me look on their website and set it on Amazon. Because, and then we never did. That's right. <laughs> Hey, Lisa, how's it going? Ooh, 
Itsy says, we had a nip to the shop. What did I miss? I discovered fire is really hot. Fire. Bah. Fire. No, no, I like fire. It does all sorts of stuff. It's very impressive. But it's really hot. <laughs> like, almost unnecessarily so. Like, that's just being, like a candle flame has no business being that hot. Like, that's a fire hazard. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I also just like seeing the faces you make at me when they say really dumb shit. Yeah, you're not usually in here with me, are you? Uh-uh. So every time you make that face at me, it just eggs me on. Okay. I was grabbing my tablet so that way I can see comments. Um, maybe a little better. What up, baby? Well, okay, my video is lagging behind because you had said out loud you grabbed your tablet. Mm -hmm. And on the video, you just set down a tile. <laughs> I'm like, wow, what model of tablet is that? Primitive. Yeah, that's the uh, ceramic line. Right. Dude, how do I even find... You go to YouTube. I'm at YouTube. You go to your history. My history? You haven't watched it yet. Uh-uh. Okay, go to your channel. Not my channel. Ooh, I see. Aha, there we are. You're welcome. Thank you. And I'm going to put it to where it is in all messages. Very cool. Okay, so now I should be able to see what y'all are saying, too. Ow, my knee. <laughs> Brooke says we've got some great educational content here. Should have a show. We were actually talking about earlier today that it's, uh, they're, I mean, I have, I'm not currently in high school, so I don't know what, like, the virtual learning or, like, learning from home is like, but I'm like, it can't be any better or worse, I mean, too much than watching, just watching YouTube all day. So I was like, well, shit, I could homeschool kids. They'll be at least as dumb as what they come out of the public school education system. Based off of I'm 30 how many years old and just figured out how hot fire is? That's a public school system fail. Is it? They didn't cover that in AP Chemistry. I think they took it on Assumed. No, that was on the, the one they teach you how to cook. Home ec? Yeah. They took it as Assumed there, too. No, well, they talk about it. Oh, really? The fire hot? Mm-hmm. That's fair. <laughs> You're killing me, small fire is impressive. It is, though. <laughs> oh, no. Lisa says we had a forest fire about seven miles from our house yesterday, but they put it out, thank goodness. Fire is bad sometimes. For sure. I'm glad y'all are okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wicked says embroidery machine, paints, do a little bit of everything when it comes to crafting. I dig that. Love to DIY makeover items and need to try to do some wire wrapping with the goodies I bought from you. Ooh, right on. How big of a room are you moving into? Like, do, have you done like a plan or? Sorry, I'm so nosy. I'm so like, gosh, if they had a reality show that was, and they probably do. Um, oh, yeah, that was just people rearranging their craft rooms. I would, uh, I would watch that. Like, I'd watch the heck out of that. Oh boy. Just a lot of crying. <laughs> Just a lot of crying. <laughs> Brooke says, I've done the in-person and online instruction for college classes. Online was harder. You're all alone and it's easy to be to lose motivation. Yeah. That is true. But pajamas. But pajamas, Randy says. Okay. Mama Salty says, I keep losing my YouTube. Uh, I hope it's not too glitchy today. Um, I just placed a massive order for cosplay. Does it usually take a long time to get? Um, not typically. I mean, I think they're based in the U.S. And I mean, like most company not companies nowadays, they'll send like a uh, you know, tracking info and different stuff like that. So Randy got me this whole mess of really nice sculpting tools. 
No, you did though, and you just ordered me more yesterday. You were like, you want these? And I was like, um, yes. <laughs> of course I want them. But, um, I don't know what to do with any of them. I feel like going to a sculpting class would be really handy, but instead, we're just doing it live. Ah, okay. Time to do work signals. I get that. You don't just live under the crushing weight of all your responsibilities. Constantly. <laughs> oh. I can't, literally cannot read, like. Gotcha, April. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can fool about with the camera tripod for a minute just because it's freaking me out well, I don't guess this is any better is it nope okay well sorry I was trying something different okay well I hope this is a decent enough angle for y'all <gasps> Tara says I've made 20 tree necklaces with your glass now that's awesome needed a little bit bigger of a spot I hope this isn't detrimental to uh, like I hope it's okay to use this kind of clay as like the core you know what I mean yeah well I'm, I'm thinking primarily from the angle of like <clears throat> what if it like cracks or something while baking or like I didn't do any sort of armature or anything and I've never sculpted a figure this big out of just solid polymer clay though I guess I did with the dragon horns when I sculpted the originals of those okay I'm gonna pet it real hard with this stick you think so yeah okay well hey Randy can you bring me a cup of water for my stick? That's cute, that's cute. Shit. <laughs> well, I didn't want to dip it in my tea. Well, how about some ocean spray immunity plus wax? Zinc plus C and E vitamins. No, because it'll it'll make it all stick flavored. <laughs> Are you just tired of drinking that yeah. stuff? Yeah. I should, not, I, I should just get straight cranberry. I, I agree. Hey, Leslie, what are you worried about? You're worried about what is happening right now? I hope everything's okay. Okay, Wicked says, once done, I'll email you photos. It'll be my gothic craft room theme, gothic girl at heart. Right on. It's a bedroom size, which will be huge compared to my little desk I was doing it all on. Oh, Wicked, that's so cool. Leslie says the brown looks like something, not clay. Well, it's not chocolate and it's not poop. It's just clay. What's up, baby? Oh, my gosh. What on earth? That's wild. Do you want to melt it down into a, like a mushroom or a... No, I just want to throw it away. Oh, really? Well, this was a really good glass. That yep. makes me sad. And now it's really trash. Okay. Yay! So I'll get you a different glass. Okay, well thank you, honey. I'll just take a mason jar. Oh, okay. Like, part of me wishes he would let me hoard like a little like broken glass gremlin that I am. But also, I have a really big... Blue mason jar. Yeah. Is that used for anything? Yeah. Should I use it for this? Yes. I'm just going to slap it with a stick. Nailed it. Hashtag, I'm a sculptor. <laughs> Ooh, Tara says, I put a butt ton of my stuff in a second-hand store in a gorgeous four-shelf display a month ago. I made $45. All rings and stretch bracelets. Right on. Thank you, baby. Okay, so this is the thing that I'm trying to make it look kind of like. I'm going to zoom in just enough to be awkwardly out of frame. There we go. So I kind of want to sculpt 
you using this as inspiration. Do not drink the clay water. Okay. Boo -doo 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 -doo. But that's awesome. And I'm sure it'll start to uh, pick up traction as you get closer to the holidays and stuff too. So I'm gonna try to make just the skull. Like I'm gonna take what, I, what I'm familiar with, which is sculpting over a fake skull base. Well, what do you think of that idea, honey? So I'm going to make this be the skull. Give me just a sec, y'all. I'm going to go grab another tripod and preheat the oven. Lessons for the day. One, don't drink the clay water. Two, fire's very hot. Um, well, it's somebody else's work, first off. Um, and ooh, welcome to being a happy crafter, Wicked Sense. Siri gets mad at me for talking to Google. <laughs> I want to see how many people's devices go off right now. No, I'm not going to because I don't know how to make it stop on mine, but I, I was going to, well, anyways. Okay. Randy says no. Okay, so is that a little better of an angle for you guys? Tree pretty. <laughs> do, 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 do. Except for I don't know how a skull looks. <clears throat> well, yeah, I thought that'd be kind of cool. Hey Randy, in that sculpting kit um, you got for me recently, that's still on its way, mm -hmm. um, did it have like some really big ball styluses? No. Oh really? Pretty sure. Nailed it. I see no difference. <laughs> I like being in the same room as Randy because I look over and he's just like grinning. I'll be ridiculous all day long if it makes him smile. Hey Harley, how's it going? Gotcha, Tara. Don't be don't be afraid to try different venues too. Like, sometimes the worst things we can do to ourselves as uh, artists who are trying to make money with our art is to pigeonhole ourselves. Plenty of other folks will do that for us. But um, don't be afraid to try, I mean, everything at your disposal, every opportunity. You never know what's going to fit till you try it on. You know, we've got little wire thingies for this, don't we? Uh-huh. I'm going to try using one of these. 
<gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. That is really cool. <laughs> I'll try to sneak one. He hides it if he sees a camera come out, April. That's why he's a Sasquatch. Oh, this is so fun. So I think, now I'm not used to sculpting something this small. Um, so I don't really know what to do if I can't like use my hands. I'm gonna have to chop all my fingernails off. That's a really good point. Brooke says, hey, any sale is a success and now you know what sells there. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, so much, Tara. She says, I have two more stores to hit up. Shows make the most, but they've become difficult. It's so hard to find someone with a vehicle big enough to tote my stuff or anyone to help. Standing for hours sucks. It really does. Woo! Okay? Yeah, it was just, it uh, was rolling and almost rolled off so. my desk. Hmm. Saw some of the last year who made dragons and put them on Christmas bottles. Oh, that's super cute. Yeah, like a Charmander. You're a Charmander. It does a little though, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> Lisa says, I've just finished my first two wire wrap pendants. Looking forward to practicing on the third one. Right on. But yeah, I love the idea of the dragons on Christmas baubles. Ooh, the oven's preheated. So something that I don't know where or how I got it into my head about sculpting is that you're supposed to like get the form right, like right away. Um, and I've been watching some different sculpting videos and like time lapses and stuff, and that really doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm really excited to shed all of my preconceived notions about sculpting by just actually just doing it. Um, so, that's fun. And exciting. I kind of want to put a stick. Hey, Randy. Hey. Do you know where all of my chopsticks are? No. Not since they're rearranged. Yeah, same. They might be. Not in that one. Not in that one. Something smells funny. Is there something on fire? I mean, the oven's on fire. Mm. You know what they say about fire. It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. It's right. <laughs> I don't smell anything, so... Oh, okay. Hey, also... Oh, I can smell polymer clay! Well, that smells like fire to you? I don't know. When it's from like a foot away from my face, a little. Okay. Like hot plastic smell? Not exactly. Oh. 
Sorry, I lost my sense of smell a while ago, y'all, and I'm just starting to get back, but nothing comes through right. Like, uh, anything minty or eucalyptus-y still smells a good bit like stink bugs. Um, which is better than what it used to smell like. That is very true. That'll poke me too hard. Here's a chopstick. He's a hipster Charmander because of his goatee. Mm -hmm. I guess I should have. Oh, I smushed his little head. Okay. Hmm. I need like a half of a. I don't want to break that one in half. It all works out for you, so. What's going on? Hope we're all uh, good. Preparing my mother's open heart surgery. Oh no. Oh, is it wrong to want to just sit and plant fall flowers? Not wrong at all. In fact, I'd... It's a good way of planting hopes. I, I've always thought. But, I don't know, Randy. What I'm thinking here is... I mean, to have something that I could set it in have like a little hands free mm -hmm. I'll worry about that next time like I thought it'd be nice to have a little base but Just stick a stick in the back of his head and put him all lazy Susan more frustrated I'm, Susan well you frustrated Susan I'm, I'm having trouble with the stick part all my sticks are too long could you could you make me a stick <laughs> or find me a stick <laughs> Or like a bundle of toothpicks. <gasps> what about one of those crossbow bolts? Dude, that might be perfect. Thank you. Dude, I totally miss you. Dude, I totally miss you. I totally miss you. Oh, he's got these freaking wings. <laughs> oh well. Just show me the man. Well, his eyes got all mad looking when I accidentally oh, yeah, squished his head. <laughs> head Ooh, fish laces. I'm going to bike benefit and community yard sale tomorrow for my second one. Hopefully this one is as big of a success as the first. Well, good luck to you. I think this is going to be one of my favorite tools. The little wire scrapey outy or part. So Randy, other than your teacher destroying your sculpture, do you have any memories about sculpting in high school art class? Any advice to... Water helps wash away all sins. Okay. Is that even on like polymer placed modeling clays like this? Or? Yeah. Hmm. Notice I conditioned all of this cost clay and then promptly <laughs> am not using it. <laughs> Just left it there. So I'm pinching, trying to make it look slightly less like a... Uh, so wait, what's the end result with this brown clay? It's going to be the skeleton that I put the cost clay details over. Okay. Why? What are you thinking? You should probably start adding the cost clay. Yeah, well, I'm trying to... I was going to get um, more or less to the shape <clears throat> and then bake that that way... I can apply pressure and press and stuff without distorting the whole thing. That looks like one of those buzzards from... It's five o'clock. Not as well. Like, you know? Robin Hood. Trigger. Is that the vulture's name? Mm hmm. Gosh darn it, Trigger. Well, there you go. There's been sculpting and teaching stuff.
sculptures for 30 years. Oh, wow. Ask her. Tara, what should I do? <laughs> the dowels for using with nails. Ooh. <laughs> Love me some tenacious D. There's a big air bubble. Mm, he didn't need that lump on his chin just yet. That like that'll be a cosplay thing. Like I think I'm just trying to just start with the form and movement. It's just to do about what? I don't know about sculpting. <laughs> I guess I know the answer is just years of practice and trial and error and following what inspires me. But aren't there like any like shortcuts to being like really good at this like immediately? <laughs> Like, what's the secret? Play your Mary Heart. Oh, Mary Heart came in? Hey, Mary Hart, how's it going? Is that a passive aggressive thanks dot 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 or did I miss something? I don't know. I don't know either. Ah, gotcha. Okay. It's so hard to read tone that I figure instead of worrying about it, I just come out and ask. Ah, uh, no short pencils. That's a really good idea, though. <laughs> I appreciate you, though. That'll be a cost clay thing. I do think. Yeah, you gotta think where you want that crystal coming out of his head. Yeah. I don't actually know that I am gonna put a crystal out of his head. I think I'm just changing my mind every single which way. Wham. Wham. Oh, I like that. Wow, holy crap, Randy. This, like, I feel like this is the best sculpture I've ever made this size before in my whole life. Like, personal <laughs> achievement unlocked. Welcome to setting the low bar for myself. <laughs> but I'm really excited about that. Like, this is, I'm digging this. This is better than I thought it would be. Ooh, that's really good advice. Mock-ups, gotcha. I'm saying this is why I do think it's going to be nice to bake them first. Because I keep, like, goobering up his eye ridges. You know? Like, is there something else I should be doing? 
that wouldn't be goobering up his eye ridges? No, no. Oh, okay. I'm sure this is easier with a reference to... Yeah, you tell us to be nice to us, be nice to you. Oh, that's fair. Uh, my mind's eye needs glasses <laughs> and a reference image. Hoorah! Hoorah! Toothpicks are a good idea. Oh, okay. Hey, Dee Dee. Clip and sand the pointy parts and sand them after the clay dries in case it shrinks. Toothpicks will give you more control over the diameter. Okay. Oh, that's a good tip. So now I'm just trying to get the mouth to not look like this. Um, I got this cup of water. Thank you, Randy. That's a really good idea. So I was thinking I was going to ball up some of the cost clay to put in as the eye, but oh, Randy, we've got those little things from the store. Be more specific. I'm working on it. I'm buffering. Uh, I was going to use them as crystal balls in miniature houses. Oh, yes. I bet I could paint on the backside of one of those. It'll make it look like, like uh, one of those paintings that where the eyes follow you. They're hanging on the pegboard with my bugle beads. Dude, I totally miss you. Now, just here's the hoping they have two that are the same size, you know? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'll take all the luck I can get. Poke, poke, poke. Oh my god, y'all. This is like the most fun thing ever. I love sculpting. Like, what I love about sculpting is you don't even have to be particularly good at it to have a blast. Like, bark, bark. He's, he's like kind of chicken-like. Yes. Let's give him a smile. Why so buck, buck? Oh my god. Randy, <gasps> look at that detail. Doesn't that, I, I don't know, I think that adds something really nice to it. <laughs> Is that a steampunk raven display? Oh my god, that could be. I like that idea. The bottom mouth should be just as wide as the top, shouldn't it? Or should it be slightly narrower? I don't know, do you want jowls? No jowls on this one. Yeah, the, the crystal concept has been abandoned. I'm just going to try to sculpt a dragon just to see what happens. Though I could add a little hook on his bottom jaw to make it to where he's holding my ring. Like if his tooth comes up. Sure. 
or if he has like a little horn on his nose. That might be kind of cool. Yeah, kinda. Hmm. Any marbles? No, I lost them all. <laughs> I don't know. Like, could you hear him, Dee Dee? That's hilarious. So, are you gonna use those or not? Yes, but they're um while he's baking, I'm going to put them. I'm going to paint those. Um, Though I could put one in just as a placeholder for now, huh? Yeah. That's a good idea. It looks like those two are the same size. So these are bubbles. It says transparent ornamental pieces that can be added to projects as a decorative element. Can't tell if they're I don't think I'm going to bake the, these. Yeah, I can't be. tell if they're glass. I believe they're plastic. Yeah, that's not quite a glass noise. But good placeholder. Good for helping to get um, Good for like scaling. So he's an ostrich. Is he? Well, that seems to be bigger in his brain. Oh, yes. <laughs> Julia says get a wooden dinner tray. That's what I use for like working on. Mary Hart says, with the squished eyes, he looks super mad, right? Okay, I think I'm gonna... Hmm? You like to go on vacation. Hmm? <laughs> so do you like to go on vacation? I don't understand. Sarah Lee, she did not talk while I'm my Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I was giving Randy a haircut this morning. And while I was cutting his, uh, I like to trim his facial hair at the, like, the same time. It's just, it's a bonding thing. Like, I've been giving him haircuts since we were 17. And, uh, there was this old video we had seen that was, like, uh, one monkey digging in the other monkey's mouth. And, like, one of them had, like, a dentist lamp on his head. <laughs> I don't know if they photoshopped it or what, but um, while well, I was trimming his mustache, I kept kept asking him questions like the the monkey from the video, <laughs> and then being like, "Sir, I'm really gonna need you to not talk whenever I have my hands in your mouth." <laughs> like just <sighs> good times. I don't remember the uh, the lamp. It could have just been my own memory insertion. Yeah. But I like it. <laughs> yeah, my memory is uh, entertaining but not accurate. <laughs> I think is a good way of putting it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think so? Now again, this is just, hmm? This is my first real sculpture. I made oh. when I was 14. Chicken what? wire covered with butcher's paper and almost blue and water covering. Same sculpture taught at me an A-plus in my college thesis. Oh, wow. Right on. That's so cool, Tara. Dee Dee says, I've been cutting my husband's hair for 30 plus years. Nice. I feel very lucky that Randy's only ever interested in, like, a burr, <laughs> like, a very simple buzz cut, because that's, uh, that's exactly where my hair cutting capabilities end.
Okay, so I'm narrowing down some places because I'm going to be building things out quite a bit um, with the cost clay after this core has been baked. Oh, the monster clay? Mm. I imagine they're probably in the same box. Maybe. Although with your luck you'll have everything but the monster clay. <laughs> yeah. Well I'm I'm pretty happy with my lot in life right now. Okay. So I am going to remove the little eyeballs. And I think this is good. I'm gonna set this on a tile. Yeah, those are not glass, I'm fairly certain. And, oh, 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 oh. oh I've made a mess. Um, I wanna go put him in the oven, I'll be right back. Oh my God, why am I like this? Oh, oh. Okay, I gotta clean up this mess, man. I hope it's not as bad as it sounded. You know? Okay. What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? A cup of coffee, please. Oh, oh well, it's not as bad as it sounded at all. That's fantastic. Okay, so I am going to go like this, though. This little insert that they give you is real handy. I tell you what. I don't know where the one that landed on the floor went to, but I'm sure I'll find it with my bare feet. Okay, there it is. Found you. But yeah, wouldn't those make super cute little, like, fairy crystal balls? Hmm. Okay, there we go. Now it's not going to spill everywhere on me again. Pardon me while I change chairs. Oh, that's much nicer. Okay. So now, so I was going through and doing a few experiments with sculpting um, dragon scales. And this one was a lot of fun to make. And I used the cost clay so you can see it's still a little flexible. I just got some separation right there, but no cracking or anything. But I really love the color shift pigment. Color shift pigment saves me. Whenever something's looking like mediocre at best, I just throw color shift on it and it like next levels it. But this was when I had a lot of fun sculpting. I kind of sculpted out a whole um, little sheet kind of like this. But I wish I had cut this into circles instead of before baking it that way. But I was just practicing following along with some other YouTube videos that uh, talk about making scales. And then this one was really cool to make too. That was a fun kind of alligatory. And so I figured. I'll save these as like kind of little samples uh, for if I ever am like, I wonder what kind of scales I should make. Okay. So now I'm going to set that brown clay aside. And I'm going to try to cut two equal parts. Ooh, you know how I like to do that is just use a circle cutter. Because I'm gonna be smushing this stuff up anyways. 
So let's do, that's one horn. And that's my second horn. So now, I mean, I'm starting off with um, <clears throat> at least the exact same amount of clay for each horn. And then it's just on me to actually get it sculpted to where it looks, you know, the same. But it's a lot easier when I do it this way. Um, gotcha. Tara says, but people don't buy eight-foot sculptures for their living room, so why are jewelry? That's fair. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And so now I'm just doing a one-circle one. Officially, since I did hair and dowels for over 30 years, now after hand surgery, I still be in doing back to school for charity or elders, but glad to be retired. Right on. What up, baby? Oh, we got monster clay. Nice. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you, honey. We're going to throw away this <clears throat> packaging paper. Anybody else want to buy another dragon skull? No. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, Randy's good. He just, it didn't, he didn't drop the knife on his foot. He's okay. Um, it just wasn't open? Okay. <laughs> hey, quiet. How's it going? <clears throat> So I've got, this was two circles, this was one and a half, this was just one, and so now I'm going to do, let me check, it's pretty close to half. Well, it's always nicer to get to do something because you want to rather than you have to. Oh, beautiful man. Can I trade you mugs? Mm-hmm. It's hard to chug with a straw, just a sec. What do you mean it's hard to chug with a straw? Straws are designed specifically for chugging. But with the big straws, like just give them all. I just I have a hard time with it. Thank you, baby. Okay, so now we have a nice gradient. I'm gonna run this back through the pasta machine right quick. Ooh, busy chain mailing. <laughs> What weave are you doing? What does the box say? Use caution when heating. Fire. Cause burns. <laughs> Hot what? Hot clay can cause burns. Uh oh. Certified non toxic. Because I'd love to microwave some to, like, liquid and try pouring it into a mold. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Somewhere. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. I actually have exactly the mold that I would like to use that for. Zap again. Ten pounds. Ah, uh, nine. Okay, let's see. Um, ooh. Tara says I was just commissioned to make a twenty-inch wall tree with black wire, soda light chip leaves, and iridescent painted moon and fairy lights. Tara, that's gonna be so cool. <laughs> Kathy says, have you sold all your dragon skulls? 
all but three, which is wild. I tell you what, that is like, that is wild. So, Howlin' Persian. Ooh, very cool. Hey, Christina, how's it going? I cannot believe that a week from today, we are going to be enjoying drinks around a campfire and just hanging out, and I've got to figure out the meal plan. So, <laughs> but here's the monster clay. Hey, Dianica. We got the medium stuff. It's 4.5 pounds. Use caution when heating. Hot clay can cause burns. Do not eat. Hot clay burn, baby. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Like, this has been such a long time coming. Hey, I forgot to set a timer. How long do you think it's been since I put stuff in the oven? Could you set me, like, a 20, 30-minute timer? It, it, no, sorry, just a 30-minute timer. Oh. Such a goober. Ooh, Donica says you can put monster clay in a crock pot to melt it down. Right on. Perfect. I'm opening it. Ooh. Oh, well, there goes that idea. I was going to try to keep the plastic nice to, like, cover it back up. Oh, God, it's terrible. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's, it's the opposite of the ASMR again. You say that, but I think it's actually in the back. <laughs> yeah, oh, really? Okay. Microwave. Instructions. Softening methods include hand warmth, crock pots, and food warming trays. To warm in container, remove plastic covering first. Always place container in a metal... What? Oh, before placing an oven. Okay. <laughs> Depending on grade, monster clay will begin to soften starting at 105 degrees and liquefy... At around 120 for use of a gas or electric oven should be done at the lowest setting only usually around 170 never expose clay to direct heat or heating elements be mindful that monster clay soft grade softens much faster than the hard grade okay always use an oven thermometer to verify oven temperature prior to heating do not exceed 170 use oven mitts when handling hot container monster clay is intended for professional use only and not intended for children Bye. use of a microwave is what? Not recommended due to its high potential for creating a burn hazard. Microwave clay can become dangerously overheated. For detailed user instructions, please see the complete product bulletin. Well, that's too bad because we're putting it in the microwave. Yeah, why other people do it? I saw it on the internet, so you know it's right. <laughs> I'll be right back. What's the highest temperature? 170. So you can't even put it in there with your palm before. Uh-uh, that's 105 degrees too hot. I need an adult. We're in danger. If I die, I love you. I'm just doing it for 30 seconds. It needs like at least a minute. Well, I'm going to start at 30 seconds because we can always add more time. Because we were going to get, okay, we were going to get the brown um, monster clay, but y'all, it looks exactly like chocolate and I cannot handle myself. Like I wasn't afraid of eating it. I just don't want to always be craving chocolate every time I'm sculpting. So that's what that's about. That was a quick 30 seconds. That was a quick 30 seconds. My kitchen's a mess, so I don't know if I should take folks in to see, but also my inclination is to take folks in to see. In to see. No, Brandy says no. Lisa says I've been packing to move and going cray cray. Oh, goodness. Their store or garage sale crop pot. Right on. <laughs> um, I'm going to be using the monster clay for sculpting, and um, actually we're going to be using it the first project we have in mind is for making a two-part mold because I believe it's a sulfur sulfur free. sulfur free. There we go. Thank you, baby. Um, so right on the oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice. So we'll be able to use it to sculpt out the second half of the uh, beep boop. What do you call it? <clears throat> yeah. 
Well, my brain just blanked. Give me a sec. <laughs> Buffering system update, you know. Yeah, I completely forget what we were talking about. Never mind. <laughs> I am working on making a dragon. And so right now, I'm kind of rolling out the dog hair filled horns. Yeah, that's no good. I don't want little bubbles in it. Talking about making a two-part mold or something. Yeah, we're going to be using the monster clay to sculpt out a two-part mold um, of some horns. In that way we can do a like rotary slush style cast and then fill it with an expanding polyurethane foam and make some really uh, slightly flexible, highly durable, very lightweight um, foam filled resin horns. I thought that would be kind of neat. Kelsey says, I know nothing of monster clay, but I was under the impression that it is a modeling clay that doesn't harden. Right. Now, we got the medium the medium grade hardness, um, so it is still quite quite firm. Like, it's firmer than this you know, polymer clay that I'm using right now. Quite firm to the touch. Quite firm to the touch, but um, I was looking for something that's oil-based because yeah, I can just heat it up and it gets really, really soft. Now, I'm speaking, at this moment, I'm speaking based off of other people's experiences um, that I've watched on YouTube. We are fixing to have our very own first experience with it, so I am really excited about that. Really excited about getting to try it out. But um, I'd like to be able to, um, if I'm casting something, but don't necessarily want the original out of polymer clay, um, that's whenever I would be sculpting it with the monster clay to then make a cast um, and then to be able to sell the casts of it. And the very first project that I have in mind for that is going to be, um, I'm going to test it in this silicone mold um, with these leaves. Do you want it liquid? It, maybe, like not fully liquid, but if there's any liquid in the middle. Because I think we can cut some off and put it in like a Dixie cup and microwave that Probably. to get that little bit up to liquid. Or I guess in the crock pot. <laughs> Sculpting phase. Nice. Oh, yeah? Full minute? Yeah. Okay. And then you go to 30. Mm-hmm. So, when this dings, it'll be 4 minutes and 30 seconds? Yeah. So. Okay. I wonder if our little, like, the thing that we do the little um, barbecue weenies in, mm -hmm. does that have a low setting? I don't know. I think you threw it away. No, we still have it, I think. Um, it would be on the second shelf on the right side of the up high cabinet. Was it graded food safe? Um, the monster clay? Probably not. I don't know. It's still there. Huh? It's still there. Very cool. Well, I wasn't going to use that one because I want to keep using that one for the little weenies. But, I mean, that would be the kind that I'd want to look out for if it had... Off, low, and high. Ooh, low. I wonder, I'd like to see if there's one on the market that has a, just a warm setting. Because I think I was watching a video with somebody and they were talking about how in the small crock pots make it too hot. Leachy chemicals. Oh yeah, no, I'm going to have like cancer when I'm 45. Um... From all just the garbage that I eat and breathe and stick my hands in all day. And <laughs> so. Huh. It's warm. Here. Uh, don't press too hard because it might have a bubble. It does. Yeah. Look. It's a super volcano. Here. Let me scratch this. Here. Okay. Maybe I want to get this on video. 
What? <laughs> he doesn't like being careful, apparently. You never want to learn. You dropped the ball. Oh. Now this is problematic. It looks exactly like the cosplay <laughs> that I'm using. Well, just don't mix the two. Um, that would be wise. So here you can see, yeah, that is like, okay, it's like liquid. They're in the middle. Liquid. Hey, pro. Pro poo. Mm -hmm. Hey, pro. Hey, pro. Welcome, welcome. Hey, bro. So I just want to see how it behaves out of a silicone mold. Because if this works out, then I know what headdress I want to do first. Because I've been wanting to make it out of resin for years. But it's just a little, it keeps not happening. Monster clay. So the monster clay is, as far as I understand it, an oil-based clay. Um, so it's very thermal in the way that like you can heat it up with your hands or a heat gun or here we just did it in the microwave like how the package says not to. But as it comes back to room temperature, it hardens back up. And so I'm really excited about that. And I'm trying to think, what is it that they use to, like, smooth the lines out of it? Do you know? Smooth the lines out of it. Well, with polymer clay, you would usually use, like, isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, just a heat gun and, like, a paintbrush. Okay. Do you get the paintbrush wet? Oh, I'm going to yeah, touch it. Know. It's my first time touching it. Oh, that's very warm. That's so interesting. <gasps> Oh, that's so counterintuitive. Okay, there it's sticking to me the way I would kind of expect. It has a stickiness. No rings. No rings. Oh, now this is so cool. Oh, and it feels so good to work with. Oh, it's sticking to me. I wonder if there's certain lotions and stuff that I shouldn't use. Like, yeah. I did my body oil after my shower, and that makes me wonder if it's going to stick to me worse because I used an oil-based uh, beauty product. Body butter. Body butter. Hmm. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah, I'm experimenting with how it behaves as it cools. Hmm. But yeah, so just over here on the edge, that's, that's very waxy. That's interesting. Oh, this is going to be nice for globbing on to stuff whenever it's this consistency. You know what a good idea would be, Randy? Mm -hmm. To sculpt a tiny dragon skull base that I really, really like. And then make casts of that to use as my own base. Say again? Make, like how I just made. Mm -hmm. But one that I'm like, nailed it. Yeah. And make casts of that to use yeah. where I could just pour monster clay into the mold and then keep sculpting more monster clay over it. Yeah. Just kind of like having a, a template. That'd be really neat. Be uh, she got it, Mary. Mary Hart. Hmm? She's going to need to pick up the thing you dropped on the ground, but you already did. Oh, yeah. Randy let me know that I dropped it. Thank you, though. Okay, let's check this stuff in the mold. So now I'm able to just kind of press a bit. Definitely going to want to let it set up just a little bit more. But also, like, I'm going to need to let it set up a little bit more before I try to unmold it. 
but I was going to try removing some, and honestly, I think I'm just fiddling with it, so, oh, this is so nice, especially after how messy the freeform air was. <laughs> Y'all, it is like so squishy and fun and nice. It's so squishy, fun, and nice. And the heat feels so good on my hands. Okay, a little bit of a residue, but I don't know how much of that is the polymer clay on my skin. I'm going to let it harden up just a little bit more before coming through. That's cool. Eee! Okay, I'm gonna let this stuff cool for just a little bit. So, how long did you microwave it, honey? Because I think that how many? I think that was perfect. Ooh, I got some coffee. Thank you, honey. Cheers, everybody. Clink. Okay, I'm gonna take Tara's advice and go wash my hands. I'll be right back. <laughs> Instead of crop contaminating like an animal. lava mm -hmm. is it a fire lizard maybe I don't know yet I'm, I'm working on now I'm making a bunch of like spikes for its head hey that how's it going hey no da, 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 da. pro says Randy what up bro? well it hit it and I don't know how to show it hit what? uh his comment oh. it's held for review oh I can click it over here there we go. <laughs> hey now. What should I sculpt? Hmm. Um, literally anything. Shoot, I don't know. Sky's the limit. Yeah, I can't sculpt the sky. Um, sculpt the rock. Like, yeah, like a really nice, like, little rock face for something. Or try to make a perfect sphere. Or try to make a cube. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so happy to see you having fun. <laughs> well, hey, do you want to sculpt a nose? It's a, a lava leg. <laughs> it's a, I mean, that's beautiful. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a really interesting texture, actually. It is, yeah. I mean, it behaves so differently than anything I've ever worked with. It's like if butter and, like, water-based clay had a baby. Like peanut and butter had a baby. Peanut and butter. <laughs> I'm excited too, Yvette. 
I'm trying to figure out, we need to establish a time for what time we're going to convene at the primitive pavilion for the potluck. Like, and I need suggestions because I don't eat at like normal human eating times. Apparently. You could make a potato. A potato. A big clay potato. Why not? <laughs> that is a very good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have no idea, Christina. It's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> hey lazy eyed. I didn't know if I'd see you in any of our live chats. I have to say, I don't know if you knew this, but I had um I had to wear a patch for two years uh as a kid because I had a very, very lazy eye, so I was like, damn, that's a good screen name. <laughs> Christine says, are we going to be crafting a bit out in the woods? Probably. No. Randy says no, but I mean, I'm not in charge of anybody. I'm not bringing anything crafty. This is a relaxation. It is relaxation. I'm bringing my guitar and I think both of my ukuleles in case anybody else wants to play with me. Uh-huh. What? <laughs> I got this whole thing here, and you can use anything out of it if you want. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to try to use these as... Mm, let's add some texture. So, I'm just using a wire tool. Now, I learned from a video I watched last night, actually, that cost clay is super duper flexible until after you've baked it a second time. And I don't know if that is all cost clay or just the particular kind that artist was working with, but um, that does motivate me to only want to do one baking of all the horns and everything. So that's why, again, I, I did bake the, uh, the core. <laughs> what up, baby? Yeah? You making a potato? Making some. I have to go through great lengths to ignore Randy whenever he's crafting because sometimes I can be a little overbearing um, and like overly enthusiastic and it kind of like makes him self-conscious and bashful and then he'll stop crafting because I'm being weird again. But I'm trying so hard. I'm so proud. He's over there covered a piece of foil and clay. I have no idea what he's making. <laughs> but we might bring, I don't know, might something. I was going to bring some henna, I do believe. Henna. Da, 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 yeah, da, I can da. tell you firsthand. Uh huh. After a long day of chain mail. This would be so nice. Yeah. Because it is warm. Wow. Can I show them your sculpture? It's a rock. Look at this rock anyway. That's actually a really good <laughs> rock. Oh, you could make like little golden people. Yeah. Ooh. I love it. We are going to be crafting friendships and memories. And we're going to gain some weight because I'm excited about this meal plan. What even is the meal plan? I kind of want to make pancakes. For breakfast one morning. What? Um, pancakes. So I make fairly decent pancakes. Yeah. And you don't let me bring a waffle iron. That's true. So pancakes. But it's been so long. I know it should make them taste even better. Mm. And it justifies my bringing of the ice cream scoop. So I either make pancakes or leave the ice cream scoop at home. I can take it. I'm not ready to leave my ice cream scoop. 
eggs and bacon right on and I figured most folks will be like the only shared meal that I'm personally planning is going to be the potluck one so uh like folks will need to worry about like their own breakfasts and stuff um unless if you want to come over and cook on our campfire but we don't eat until like one in the afternoon so <laughs> like I, I would you don't not need to worry about getting yourselves taken care of yes I would not count on Randy and I for anything <laughs> um other than showing up so now that being said, we are sharing our campsite with Christina, so she is an exception to this. We are planning on feeding her, um, but that's that's it. That in the uh, the potluck meal. Should we have a theme for the potluck meal? I'm really enjoying this texture on the horns already. I'm gonna take this. I didn't, Lisa. Okay. My tentacle. <laughs> I thought you were gonna save it as like a tentacle on it, and no. now I'm very sad because you smushed my tentacle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take it. Uh, how, how's it behaving? Like, did it firm up nice? Yeah. Okay. Because that's mainly what I was experimenting for was for seeing how it behaved. Like I almost have to just get it the shape I want and set it down. To let it like cool? Yeah. Right on. Let it firm up. If you want, you can use my stone tile or that ceramic one that's right there mm -hmm. um, for leaching some of the heat out of it faster. Oh, I have no idea, Michelle. Nobody has emailed me yet about ooh candy bacon. Um, you must have sky. Yes. How about ice cream scoop for the scooping party? What's a scooping party? Did someone also, say bacon? You bet. I'm not bringing plungers. <laughs> <laughs> if your timing had been two seconds different, I'd have spewed spewed coffee honey oh that'd be so cool pro I did not see the coffee coming let me scroll back and see you need nature so bad been such a silly city girl same oh Lisa <laughs> I had to go make myself some coffee because I don't have a Randy <laughs> uh, well Brooke I'm hoping that we'll do multiple camping events like kind of all over and we'll see how the first one goes. yeah we'll see how this one goes well, we'll go camping again. Whether or not y'all are invited again <laughs> depends entirely on your own behavior. <laughs> like, and also, please no one murder me. Like, that would suck. <laughs> like, that was Randy's main concern. He's like, you know, people are weird. And I'm like, yeah, but these are my weird people. And he's like, well, sometimes an extra weirdo sneaks through. And I was like, yeah, yeah okay. Three bean salad. Oh, that'd be good. I think I think Randy and I were gonna make um palm noodle spaghetti. I see on the fire. Well, we just we bring everything pre cooked. And um, it just kind of bake it. I think we should stick with recipes we have tested, tried, and true. Oh, okay. Well, what should we make, do you think? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to think about that and get it figured out. Well, we could get Pam's recipe for Mountain Dew Chicken. Yeah. That's a, that's a crowd feeder, and it's been good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to steal Pam's recipe for Mountain Dew Chicken. Yeah. So we're gonna be making Mountain Dew Chicken, which is a potato and chicken and Mountain Dew soda based meal with cheese on it, which is Damn, amazing. Yeah, Boy Scout thing. yeah. But uh, super yummy, like excellent, very, very delicious. You know, I've watched Pam make it enough times, you'd think I'd know, but nope. <laughs> 
Well, if we're going to have Mountain Dew chicken for it, then we'll need to have the potluck kind of late in the day. Right? Yeah. We can just start it first thing in the morning. Mmm, that's a good point. Okay. We get good stuff, says it that right on. Texas caviar, that would be yummy. Bring some shish kebabs, and of course I'm going to do some sugar-free goodies. Baked that I can bring that everybody can have, and they taste really good. Ooh, oh, I love that, Michelle. Does everybody bring everything? <laughs> like, I don't know, like, everything sounds good. Whatever you think would be yummy to eat, like, I don't care if we end up with all meat, all sides, or all desserts, it's, we'll be fine. <laughs> huh? Thank you, babe. Like, I'm not, I'm not picky. I'm, uh, I think Randy and I will be providing paper plates and silverware for the potluck. What time does the sun set in DeSoto on that Saturday? <laughs> hey, Google. No. I'm going to search it on somebody's phone. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. And also, I do. I am going to be bringing the bottle of mango rum that our very good friend Propol gave us years ago. <laughs> and I still have not. I think we've opened it, and I've drunk a bit out of it. But I like to. I like to drink it when I'm with friends. And so, we'll be bringing the legendary bottle of mango rum. And then, uh, I don't know that goose drink that Randy likes, uh. or something. Or just some Mike's Hard Lemonades? Probably just Mike's Hard Okay. Da, 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 And we got Funky Flames. <laughs> got Funky Flames for days. For days. And a bunch of cheap sparklers. <laughs> nope. Wait, we gave those away, didn't we? Yep. Okay. Yeah, my sister has children, so I was like, here's some explosives and some cheap sparklers. Have fun. <laughs> Yeah. And then, what, like six of them got used out of a pack of like 57? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's in DeSoto State Park, Alabama. DeSoto, Alabama. Ooh. What is noise? That's your timer. Oh. Which, thank you for setting that. Look at that little guy. That's so cool. He burned my hand, though. Okay. Whenever he's cooled off, I'll show him to y'all. <laughs> Sunset's around 7 p.m. Okay, well, maybe we will meet at 4. Well, anyways, <laughs> more than he <laughs> So it rolled him over? What do you think about four for a potluck? Sure. Because that gives us three hours to eat and get cleaned up before sunset. Okay. We're going to be meeting at the primitive pavilion, like the primitive, primitive campground pavilion, um, at four o'clock on Saturday. So. But also, like, y'all see us at our campground, and I'm going to be waving at everybody. Um, so if y'all are there, just wave and say hey and come and, I don't know, like, socialize. Like, I, I cannot express how little actual human interaction, I, interaction I've done that isn't work-related that I'm like, man, I don't even know how people, like, people. So <laughs> bring all your best social skills and uh, be patient with me. Our clothes optional. I do believe this is a clothed uh, campground. This is absolutely closed. So, I mean, I'm not the boss of you, but <laughs> I'm not going to be turning anybody in, but <laughs> Randy's just over there shaking his head. Check the legalities for the region. Like, I don't want anybody getting in too much trouble. Do, 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 do,
Sasquatch sightings and all. Shorts are closy. <laughs> they are. They are. So I'm just doing little texture bumpies on the horns. <laughs> That's really cool. Are you doing a dinosaur too? No. Or a dragon? No. Oh, okay. Are you doing a Pokemon? No. Oh, okay. Oh, that sounds perfect. Yvette says, as long as the Kennedys don't mind us setting up our grill at their spot, we'll work out the details when we get together. Sure. Yeah, I, I think that'd be... Because the... Now, granted, the primitive spots they have on a first-come, first-serve, so I know which spot I'd like to snag, but I don't know for a fact that it's going to be available when we get there. But the spot that I'm thinking of, we will have quite a bit of space that if people do want to bring their camping chairs and come over and like yeah. hang out like we can totally host i mean unless we've just got a bunch of people who come over right which would be amazing which even then it's a uh, we'll figure something out but yeah, again, if anybody has any um, about the camping trip in particular, uh, send me an email with your ideas, or your thoughts, or your questions, and we'll try to try to figure it out. If I knew how to put together a Facebook group page for like a private event, I would do that. But my brain, y'all. Hmm. I got track. Oh my god, that's amazing! What is that? You don't know yet. I love it. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Ow. So this is how our little feller came out. He's quite warm still. Like, really warm. Dun, 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 dun. Kind of just... Huh. <laughs> well, this is just not working. Well, do you need to let it harden up a little bit before... Yeah, probably. Okay. We have a saying about patience. Ouch, says I, who won't stop grabbing onto a 200 degree. <laughs> Bringing the small camp grill. Okay. Jennifer says, are you going to try to do a live stream or a vlog from the campsite? I, I'm no. certainly going to be getting a lot of video, but I don't think we have Last cell reception. Last we were there, we did not have great cell reception. So there will there won't be any live streams from it, but oh, I'm certainly gonna get a video f of uh, all the socializing and every time. And y'all are more than welcome to get video of, of stuff as well if you want to uh, have it included in the vlog video that we'll probably end up doing over on the Vonster vlog. Christina says, as we discuss it, it is becoming more real, and I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited too, Christina. Because we're going to have, we've got the yellow tent for you and a couple of the squish mats, and we'll have the tarp for underneath it, but so long as you have, like, all of your own, like, snacks and bedding and hygiene, um, then, then you'll be good. And then for the kitchen area, y'all, I'm excited about our kitchen setup. Like, Randy had gotten me these two really wonderful... Um, like camp tables. Actually, if I get tired of sculpting, we might just start playing in all my camping gear. Um, because I do need to go through it. So, what do you think? <gasps> oh, honey, I love them. Is that a fucking, uh, Magikarp? No. Oh. Well, it's a really good Magikarp. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh, do I not remember what a Magikarp looks like? I don't think you do. Well, I love it.
I like how you're building up on them. Like, that's really cool. Do, 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 do. Ooh, Michelle says we're going to go through all of our camping gear tomorrow. That way we can get what we don't have. Okay, guys, I can't handle it anymore. We got to go look at the solar panel. Do what, honey? Right on. Okay. Sorry, just getting stuff moved and put away. Okay, so here's the solar panel. There's just everything all over the porch. Let's see. We are at 73% and it's only capturing 12 watts. So I'm going to see if... I'm setting it up like that. <laughs> Nine watts. Okay, never mind. I'll just put it back. <laughs> I wanted to get a realistic, it's still just at 9 watts, okay, my bad. Um, my porch is such a disaster, but that's alright, it's a work in progress. Uh, the manual said that um, it can take 9 hours to recharge, um, like charge up to 100% off of just the solar panel. So I wanted to test out on, this is like the sunniest day we've had in a while. What's the, uh... 73%? Okay. Well, it started at like 30 something. Mm-hmm. It? But it's, I think, at every opportunity, we should charge it up, like, uh, whenever we go to the bathroom. Like, while we're showering, we could charge the Jackery. But, because it's going to be, uh, the forecast says overcast. Yeah. Uh, for the trip, so... Though, really, did you even want to bring the Jackery with us this time? Yes. Okay. Just to kind of experiment and see. Okay. Mm. It's starting to take shape. You know what it is yet? Is it a Pokemon? No. It's a video game character? Uh-huh. He's got the three ridges on his head. But that's a Pokemon, too. This is also just from memory, so... Okay. Well, either way, it looks really Potentially cool. Potentially very off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah, right? No, same, Michelle. She says, just think, y'all will be hanging out live in person next Friday. Wish everyone could go, but I'm still happy to get to meet y'all. I'm really happy, too. Like, I'm excited because I feel like this is the start of hopefully, like, a really great thing that we can take oh. all over the place. And Is everything okay? Huh? Ooh. Um, but that we can take all over and, you know, get to meet more folks and kind of get to experience this format in different ways at different parks and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we confirmed yesterday there is not a chance that we will be bringing Z with us, not even in the slightest. Um... I was really hopeful, but he screams out of joy the whole time he's in the car. It used to be out of terror, but now he's just super excited to go on walkies that he goes like husky level, um, just insane. So now I'm just building up some cost clay over the Sculpey core. Again, I don't know if this is like right or wrong or whatever. Uh, right on, Judith. Mm, yes, I was way off. What? Oh, King Zora. Oh, that's going to be cool, honey. It's way off. No, not so way off. Not so way off. But it's, um, with the monster clay, like, are you, are you interested in feedback at all, or are you just having fun? Yeah, I'm just having fun. Okay. But I can do this. Rip it off. <laughs> put it on the side. Yeah. 
It's the technique I was seeing most people use in the monster clay videos of them sculpting is they really, really rough out um, the shape bigger than what the final piece would be. Yeah. And then as it starts to cool, they remove the wire tool yeah. and start. There's a term for it that I don't recall. But uh, no, it's like <laughs> uh, detracting or something, but it's where you're carving into it to remove away to like carve out as opposed to adding more clay like you know how stuff will have like Reducing. maybe i don't know it was a very particular term that you could say anything and i'm like it could be the term it could not be i don't know <laughs> i don't know either. right on judith oh hey baby yeah i love you you're so good yeah. <laughs> I was actually going to bring the literal bunch of bananas that Sabea had given me. And uh, I guess the first couple of folks to arrive, I'm keeping one of the bananas for myself. Um, but then uh, we'll bring some bananas to share. And I was going to try to make pins of bananas camping. But I haven't done the artwork for it yet. But yeah, we're going to have to bring a party down to New Orleans to hang with the Baya. Dude, Yvette. Mm hmm Somebody told me at Dragon that, like, they approached our table and they were like, this is a long shot, but do you guys sell at Anime St. Louis? And I was like, yes, we do, actually. And they were like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, that's, we drove, you know, that, that's a pretty long drive. And they said, oh, we just took the train. And I Mind was like, blown. What? And they're like, yeah, there's a train that runs from St. Louis to Atlanta. I was like, huh? Because she was telling us about the train that goes from, yeah, like. Yeah, those people were telling us that it's, it's just a, a day. It's a day trip. You're not even driving, you're taking a leisurely train ride. Like, how cool is that? I know, and I'm like, well, this is something I need. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've been driving this 16 to 18 hour drive for how many years before I right? realized there's a train? I don't know what we could bring as far as, like, inventory and grid walls and stuff. Yeah. Apparently, I need to look into trains. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. Right on. Sarah says, come to California. I would love to see the Redwoods. Like, there's just... The only problem for me with California is I don't know where to start. There's so much that I would love to see. Well, now it's very much. <laughs> Simone says, and Randy Vaughn was this many years old today when he learned that piece of information. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? And now this has very much become a sing for me. <laughs> you see it now, don't you? Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> like, it the looks Phantom like. Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> he got some really cool ears. Yeah. Who's building up little sculptures or little yes little yes I think I should just use like a gemstone because I'm not going to be able to bake this with these questionably probably not glass 
balls? Yeah, you definitely want to be able to. Okay. So I am going to go dig up a 10 millimeter gemstone. And that's what we're going to use for the eyes. So I will be right back. Oh, sorry. She did it on purpose. I saw her. Hey, what are you talking Oh, you know it would be really cool if you to make some lampwort glass eyes? Yeah. Mm. Are you making clamper eyes? Not right now. Okay. Uh, for just the bees. What color do you want them to be when it's all said and done? I, I'm just going to use, I just grabbed two uh, clear quartz beads. Ah, that's a good idea. Numbers up with some of these to be treats. <laughs> right? It's treat time, I promise. And I'm using the hole drilled for the bead as a sit in for the pupil. I don't know if I like that. Well, I don't want it forward. I will go vertical. This isn't my last sculpture. It's just my first one, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, any sort of luck, it's just my first one. <laughs> Oh, it's four o'clock, so I guess I should log off and have our break and do like prep everything up for the after party. Okay. So to all of our um, YouTube channel members and Happy Crafter Club supporters and Patreon members, we will be having an after party today from five to seven, but we are restructuring a lot of things moving forward. Um, we're going to be making some changes to our subscription service. We are going to be making some changes to um, how and possibly where we stream. A lot of this stuff is still, still very much up in the air because we're not making any changes until we know for a fact that it works. And we will always be keeping our YouTube presence, but um, there is the potential of... Um, we may start doing our live streams on a different platform, but we'll see. But we'll see. But uh, it's it's a uh, gosh, and I don't know how to talk about this without sounding like I'm complaining. Um, things are just shaping differently. Yes, things are not what we expected um, with the way that our YouTube channel has grown. And it's like, um, like just for example, like we have over 215,000 subscribers, which is phenomenal. And um, like not even 2% of our subscribers watch our videos. Um, and I don't think it's because they like hate us or anything like that. I think I it's, Aranda says it's because they hate us. But I, I don't think anyone gets notified of our videos or it's just not getting shown to them or something in the feed but it's just it's wild to me that it's we, we are getting less like interaction and viewer engagement and views at as many subscribers as what we have than we did back when we had like 30,000 subscribers like but you yeah, know what I, no, I mean that's right. I'm laughing at my face. oh gotcha it's like I'm not exaggerating on the math or anything on that it's like truly that's kind of what we're looking at and dealing with and um it's just it's very discouraging that it's like I had put in a whole lot of work on the uh what you call it the sea dragon 
uh, sculpture video. Like it took me about four hours to edit that down to that. And I know it's not like particularly great quality or anything, but it's kind of the best I have to offer. And it still doesn't even have like, like, a, it, it's not even meeting our usual amount of like view count, which it, most of our videos nowadays are kind of capping out at around a thousand, a thousand five hundred views. Um, and so, Hmm? Look at his sculpture, you guys. Oh, I love him. Is, what do you say? One of us flippers. <laughs> From Zelda? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome, baby. <laughs> you gotta show the reference image of the reference. Okay, no okay, so that's I'm... the reference image. You're getting there. Getting there. He's still, can I touch him? Yeah. He's still quite warm and pliable. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so, I mean, I don't, well, I love what we do. This is still what we do for a living. Um, and I'd really love to be able to make a living at what we do and y'all are doing your part I'm just frustrated with YouTube because I feel like they just every time we figure something out um, Something else gets made more difficult than it needs to be um, So uh, We're kind of looking at different platforms to stream on and that way, because we're getting fiber internet, um, this month. this month, I can't remember what day, but it's after the camping trip. And so that's what I'm really excited about exploring some of the different options for streaming where we may be able to do dual streaming. Um, but like basically the way that Randy was, cause this is kind of his brainchild and I, I'm a hundred percent here for it. Um, but I would be dual streaming on this platform and, uh, where they let us keep what, 90% of the revenue? Yeah. Um, as opposed to... YouTube's. YouTube's, I don't even know, like, not much. <laughs> like, they don't let us keep much of it uh, when we do get paid. So, um, but we'd, we'd be streaming over on this other platform, and then we'd be able to pull that video and make like use that as the footage so it's basically i'd be streaming what i would normally be re recording privately um and then get that edited down into um a youtube video so we're still whatever we do we're still going to be maintaining our current youtube upload schedule i'm just really excited about getting to stream more and getting to you know have like the interfaces and stuff where y'all can like What's it called? Like, Randy watches this streamer, and he used to do this thing where it would yell about chicken strips. Like, he could press a button, and it would do something with chicken strips. Uh, that was a different thing. But we'll have stuff like that, though. Maybe. Like, really interesting ways of engaging. Okay, well, I think it would be worth investing in that device, because that would be so cool. I want to be able to yell about chicken strips together. Um... Oh, Sandy says, I haven't been getting the notice or links for the after party. Okay, it's been a couple of weeks since we've had an after party. So be sure to check your spam folder. We'll be sending out the one for today at 5 p.m. Um, so, um, you know, please, please send us an email if, if it still doesn't come through and we'll try to, you know, figure out how to to help you all also something that i didn't even know was a thing um we had sent an email to someone who had sent us an email we had replied and we got a message back that they couldn't receive any more emails because their inbox was full i did not even know that was a thing um but they were emailing us because they were very frustrated that they had not heard from us they're like i'm not getting any of your emails um, and I, so I tried to send them that email back and it was because they were, I guess, had reached the uh, maximum of what they could have in their email account. I've got a wild hair today, though. I tell y'all what. Um, but yeah, so I don't, I didn't even know that was a thing. So um, just trying to think of all the different possibilities of things that could be going sideways for folks who aren't getting our emails. Because I'm certainly, 
I'm certainly sending them out. So keep an eye on your emails and on your YouTube notifications and on your Patreon notifications at 5 p.m. We'll be going live again uh, for the after party where we will be continuing sculpting this little guy and adding all of his little horns and different things. And Randy will be working on... Yeah, I'm going to smash this. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Look him. at it. It's horrible. I love it. <laughs> no, it's not. It's bad. Well. Like, the face is just constantly sliding to the <laughs> left. I think it's because the core is still so warm. Well, possibly. I think if you let him Maybe. harden up a bit and then added layers. Maybe. Okay, but he's... Oh. Smash. And this is the coolest thing about Monster Clay. That you can salvage it all. That's so cool. Or at least most of it. Yeah. But you can leave a little stuck to the stuck to the aluminum armature mm -hmm. okay guys i'm gonna let you go we will see you at 5 p.m central standard time for the after party and if y'all aren't able to make it to that we will see you in monday's shop update where we are gonna have a bunch of super juicy amethyst so we will see y'all then and so until next time you guys happy crafting Bye. Bye. <laughs> I can't believe you killed him. I loved him in his big